take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell bad it looks it's cloudy it's misty it's foggy mm. there absolutely no view this is how it looks take and see so often we seem to know the unfavorable but unknowingly maybe not as often as we would love things turn up differently that's exactly what happened that morning riding to thambi from zulu the weather that was foggy misty overcast maybe an hour ago suddenly seemed to be one of the brightest and promising look at this how beautiful is that Today Thambi did not disappoint us. There you can see the Kanchenjunga. This is one of the best views I've seen ever of the Kanchenjunga. The views this morning made up for everything. The views were the best of my experiences in the mountains in a long long time. We managed to capture few, met new people, made new friends. and did not leave till everything was again taken over by the clouds as we were riding from thambi to rishikhola and we crossed zuluk the landscape changed dramatically it became more green and vegetation more dense But the romance did not last very long. My goodness me, I just came out of a huge mess. I'm traveling today the 16th. and my permits got expired yesterday that is the 15th and john got it done for me and i never looked into it and at the paramchand check post i was in for a big shock i almost got arrested and somehow after so much of a drama they let me go oh my god i still can't believe it what a mess i was into the next must stop was the kuikola or the kalikola waterfall at nimachan just before longly don't ask me how but somehow i managed through longly the final check post for east sikkim in a rush of over excitement and enthusiasm and also being able to ride on a more sensible stretch of roads after a long long time we missed a turn or so and kept riding towards rongpo instead of rishikhola after few wrong bends and turns we were back on the course but this time we didn't have roads to ride on It's all happening here. The mountain ranges, the hills, 
the clouds and now off roading everything is tested me and my machine hey sevestian ka home stay kahan pe तो जाएंगे कैसे रास्ता है दस द सेवेस्टियन होम स्टे धन दिस इज द रोड ओ माई गॉड द ऑडिल seemed nothing as we approached Rishikhola we were in awe of the beauty of the place it seemed like a paradise tucked away in the hills and onish deserved all the kudos for insisting on this place Absolutely like a paradise. Peaceful, calm and quiet. And the only sound you get is the river flowing by. Only sound you have here. Nothing else. Nothing to bother you. So beautiful. I'm so excited to be here. Very rarely I've seen a place like this. So stunning. So peaceful. So lovely to be here. what all the pain that it took last evening to come here the roads were absolutely bad in fact the roads at all total offroading that i had to do to come here reach this point it's a rishi eco tourism resort i think i'm getting it right after we left rishikola i didn't have any specific plan and decided to take up as things would come along onish joga probir and roy had to be home by next day at pedong it was time to say goodbye after few days of riding and experiencing so much together i sat down catching up on few pending things that needed my attention and to figure out what could be my next few destinations wanting to avoid kalimpong alok a local school teacher suggested two names lava and delo i am in two minds which way to go i decided delo and try paragliding something which i never believed i could even think of trying Quite something, a game of football. Delo kis taraf hai? Upper mein. Delo was disappointing, so I decided not to spend the night there. I kept on asking people as I rode about places to stay. Some were beyond my budget, and some didn't meet my requirements. Thank you. Eventually I found one as weather went from bad to worse. Property home stay. So I'm staying for the night. It's in Itche, a small place uh, 15 km before Kalimpong. Next couple of days were lazy and relaxing with the Rai family and the wait for the weather to improve seemed endless. I decided to ride back home. बोल बोल को बोल दीजिए जब निकल रहे थैंक यू दीदी अभी जावेद सेफली जावेद सिरीगुड़ी किस तरफ से जाए लेफ्ट 
Riding back to the plains from the mountains has always been the most challenging of all journeys. Not about the difficult terrain or challenges associated with the altitude, but always about an unending desire and longing, incompleteness as you never seem to have enough of the mountains. There will always be people who have done it before me and people who will do it after me and perhaps they will do better than I was. But still, a little sense of achievement and self-joy seems to settle down, of me doing it.